ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'm going to invite Sanjay Merodra on stage. Good morning. Good morning. It's really a pleasure for me to be here with you today to share uh, our experience at Sandesk and how we see the growth of flash memory, how it has impacted the lives of hundreds of millions across the world and what is in store for all of us in the future. I want to thank IESA for giving us the opportunity to be here today uh, to share with you our 25-year journey and our future uh, optimism for growth of flash memory. So in my presentation, I will be making certain forward-looking statements. And as a public company in the US, uh, we do need to just formally notify you that you know, some of these forward-looking projections certainly have risk associated with it. And please refer to some of our SEC disclosures in terms of any um, the implications of some of those possible risks. Somebody has said that the biggest risk in life is not taking any risks at all. And SanDisk, 25 years ago, there were three of us that certainly took the risk. But even before us, it was Dr. Masuoka at Toshiba Corporation who had really been a pioneer in device technology. And he certainly, as an innovator, List his career in committing to flash memory technology. He invented flash and he promoted flash way back in 1980 time frame. So it is actually mind boggling that for more than three decades, this technology of flash has evolved from its very inception to something that really fuels the smart digital lifestyle today. SanDisk started in 1988. There were three of us who co-founded SanDisk, Dr. Eli Harari, an Israeli citizen, um, Mr. Jack Yuan, a Chinese immigrant into the US, and uh, Eli, Israeli uh, uh, origin, but also had immigrated to the US, and uh, I, uh, originally from India, and had immigrated to the US. So three immigrants in US started SanDisk in 1988. And our vision was to leverage our own proprietary flash memory technology and build <coughs> systems for removable solutions as well as embedded solutions related to storage for mobile devices. This is in 1988. This is before inter uh, internet really became prevalent, before digital cameras became a commonplace. We had the vision that flash memory will be a key enabler of the future consumer electronics devices, as well as various enterprise and other storage systems. That's the foundation of SanDisk in 1988. And from the very first concepts, now we are at a point where SanDisk Flash and Flash industry is a huge industry. The first products that we introduced were in 1991. We brought to market a 20 megabyte flash memory storage system. It was a two and a half inch form factor compatible that sold at that time for $1,000. 20 megabyte, 1991, selling for $1,000. We were the first and the only ones that had such a flash storage system out in the marketplace. That was risk that the three of us definitely took. Uh, we believed in flash, but at that time in 1988, even after eight years of invention of flash memory, there really was not an industry to speak of. Sales of flash were few tens of millions of dollars at that time. We took the risk. We invested our careers in flash. We focused on advancing the flash memory technology, applications, and the industry. And the result is 25 years later now that flash really has gone up in capacity by more than 30,000 times. Our first flash memory chip that we had, I had designed in 1988 at SanDisk was a four megabit chip. Today, the chips that are in production 
a single chip is 128 gigabit, more than 30,000 increase in capacity. And along with advances in technology came the cost reductions, the cost reductions that fueled the growth of the markets. Costs have come down by more than 50,000 times today over the course of last 20 years. Going from $1,000 per 20 megabyte, from $50 a megabyte, down to less than dollar a gigabyte today. So less than 50,000 times cost that technology advances have propelled for flash memory. And flash certainly has, with such rapid pace of technology advancement, such steep rate of cost declines fueled by technology advancements, it has really grown markets over the course of the last couple of decades. First, it was flash, digital film, obsoleting analog imaging, and today everywhere it's digital cameras. SanDisk work in its early years with likes of Kodak, Nikon, Canon, Polaroid at the time, and others to really create the solution of digital film. This is in early 90s. We created, helped create compact flash as an industry standard at that time. These markets were very early. Uh, digital cameras didn't have enough resolution at the time. But as internet came about, that's when picture sharing became a commonplace, and that's what really enabled digital imaging to take off. And of course, over the years, advances in the resolution of the cameras, as well as other capabilities and features of the cameras, has really grown the overall demand for digital imaging. And today, the SanDisk is a premier supplier of digital flash film for digital imaging, uh, still imaging, as well as video imaging markets. So flash certainly disrupted the old analog chemical film and created a, helped create a whole new industry of digital imaging. Flash also toppled the old floppy disk drive industry. USB flash drives replaced floppies, and today they are nowhere to be found, and USBs are everywhere. And it's not just the digital film and the USB flash drives. It has also flashed in last decade in the audio players. Flash really replacing what was initially hard disk drives in the audio players, and now all audio players are flash based. Flash also in mobile systems, mobile phones, today is really enabling the smart digital lifestyle. The experience that you have on your mobile phones, smartphones, your tablets, Flash is a key enabler of the experience you get. Flash is what is used to store your films, your uh, movies, your business information, and all other content. And now Flash is causing disruption in client computing devices as well as enterprise applications in cloud storage and data centers. Flash is come to a point where you can get high enough capacities enabling very small, thin, sleek form factors of your ultra-thin notebook computers. And this is what is really fueling the growth of solid-state drives in client computing. But Flash also is growing rapidly in enterprise storage, in servers and data centers, because it enables fast access to your data, as well as provides several other value propositions. Key factor is that Flash, the total cost of ownership of Flash, because of its ability to deliver high capacity solutions that are attractively priced, coupled with its capabilities of giving you fast access, information that you want through cloud, anytime, anywhere, can be accessed fast if stored in Flash. And that feature of high performance capability uh, making your cloud applications, your data access faster is what is fueling the growth of Flash in enterprise and data center applications. Flash also is smaller in footprint compared to hard disk drives. Therefore, it helps the data centers run on lesser real estate, which is a very big deal in terms of the space requirements. So that's yet another value offering of Flash solutions. 
In addition, flash consumes less power. Another factor, utility bills are important for data centers and enterprise applications. So flash is providing yet another value there. And lastly, flash is highly reliable. No moving parts. So high integrity, high reliability flash solutions. So you see, it's the total value proposition of flash. High capacity storage at attractive prices, together with the features of low power, small footprint, as well as high reliability. These value propositions of Flash are driving the growth and now creating new growth markets of Flash in client computing devices as well as enterprise applications. So what has been Sandex path? From day one, our mission has been to enrich people's lives through digital storage anytime, anywhere. And I believe over 25 years history of Sandex, we have certainly live this mission well, and this is what keeps motivating Sanders, our team, our engineers, our employees, our global team, to continue to advance new innovations and create new opportunities, impacting the lives of hundreds of millions across the world. If you look at Flash, it really, in among all the markets of imaging, USB flash drives, mobile phones, client computing, enterprise, set-up, TV boxes, all of these, Flash is expected to be in about 4 billion consumer devices sold in 2016 time frame. So by 2016, the end market applications of Flash that use Flash memory are expected to be in the range of about 4 billion devices. Just by comparison, this is uh, over last year about a billion less so huge growth in terms of applications of Flash just over the course of the next three to four years. Another one billion more devices to be sold on a per year basis that will use Flash by 2016, getting to about four billion new devices getting sold that in one form or another rely on Flash to really deliver that smart digital lifestyle of today. This is the market opportunity for Flash. And Sanders, when we look at our business opportunity, we really classify it into three categories. Mobile, this is your mobile phones, budget smartphones, smartphones, premium smartphones, as well as tablets, computing. This is client notebooks, ultra-thin notebook computers, as well as other storage applications, and solid-state drives and the consumer, which is really primarily the retail markets of USB flash drives and memory cards. This is how we look at our business in three major market segments to address the future opportunities of 4 billion in by 2016 time frame of end application devices on a per year basis that will be using flash.